Ito ang Mornings with GMA Regional TV. Matindi sa mathematics ang ating makakakwentuhan this morning mga kapuso. Fresh mula sa kanyang successful journey sa International Mathematics Olympiad Competition of Southeast Asia. Kasama natin this morning si Samantha Louise Samson at ang CID Chief ng Philippine Science High School CAR na si Sir Dennis Basa Jr. Good morning Samantha and Sir Dennis and uh, welcome to Mornings with Jamie Original TV. Good morning po. Good morning CJ and to all of the viewers. <laughs> Samantha, kumusta ang iyong uh, pag-aaral? Anong year o grade ka na ngayon? Um, I'm in grade 9 po. And so far, I'm doing quite well naman po in school. I'm able to get pretty high scores naman po sa test ko. And I'm able to balance like my extracurriculars and reviewing for subjects po talaga. And apparently, mayroon kang uh, amazing gift sa mathematics. Noon pa ba ay uh, hilig mo na ang mga numero, hilig mo na ang mathematics at kailan ka nagsimulang lumaban sa mga uh, mathematics competitions? Uh, yes po, I've always been uh, competing in math as far as I can remember. I started competing when I was in grade 1, uh, district and region and I've actually competed in my first international competition in Hong Kong when I was in grade 1. But my first major win was when I was in grade 3 when I competed in China when I won four medals and a trophy. And uh, recently nga, di ba, ikaw ay lumaban at uh, nagwagi o nanalo sa International Mathematics Olympiad Competition of Southeast Asia. Well, congratulations sa iyo. Anong uh, placement mo sa competition na ito at anong kategorya ang uh, naipanalo mo sa manta? Uh, I competed for a secondary three and I was able to win a gold medal and first runner-up top scorer po. Okay, uh, kay uh, Sir Dennis naman, uh, paano pong paghahanda ang inyong ginawa rito? And uh, ano po yung uh, natural ni skill ni uh, Samantha that made it easier for you to coach and train her? Alright, uh, surprisingly... We did not do much preparation on our end because Samantha is really a gifted student in math. However, on our end, we just made sure that uh, we made schedules for her practices and for her trainings. And kung may mga kailangan man siya, additional materials, we made sure na mapaprovide namin on our end. But to be honest, the rest was really up to her and uh, props to her. <laughs> Well, alam nyo, this is an international competition attended by uh, uh, nearly 100 participants. Yan, dami yan, no? Uh, Samantha, how do you feel na ganito naging uh, successful ang journey mo sa competition na ito? Um, actually, Paul, before the competition, I was actually really nervous because I haven't competed in that scale for two years because of COVID. But thankfully, it was such a relief to know na I'm still, I still have it in me. <laughs> okay, mabalik ako kay Sir Dennis. Uh, sir, uh, alam po natin yung mathematics po ay isang uh, mga dreaded subjects ng mga students eh. How do we make them appreciate that uh, uh, math is fun? Alright, uh, indeed CJ, no? Math really has a reputation of being, I don't know, a terror subject. And uh, as for experience, the students can really appreciate math more if number one, you have to make things simple for them because no matter how complicated the, 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 the calculations or the equations are, if we're able to show them that it's not that difficult, uh, there's, a, there's a simple way to do it, uh, they'll appreciate the, the subject more. And secondly, if we're able to show up as a teacher, really the impact of math in their daily lives. It's not just about numbers, adding, subtracting, formulas and whatnot. That there really has a real world application. They will really love to learn math more and grow to love math more. All right, very well said. Okay, maraming salamat Sam and uh, Sir Dennis. Once again, congratulations. And uh, ingat pa kayo lagi. Thank you and good morning.
Tutok lang mga kapuso, magbabalik ang Mornings with Jamie Regional TV. Ito ang Mornings with GMA Regional TV.